Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you this super useful tab manager, it's called Tab Wrangler, okay, it's open source, the source is available on GitHub, and by the way I'm talking about a Chrome extension, no idea if it's also on Firefox, but I saw that there are also some, some other extensions, so you can probably find something similar in case. So basically, this is super useful for me, and if you have my same problem, which is that you have like uh, 50 tabs, you know, open. Now I have just eight or seven, I don't know. But let's just try, let's just open a few Linux here and let's just open this, 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 this one, this other. And then you just start opening tabs. You say, all right, I'm gonna read that later. I'm gonna read that later, maybe, or tomorrow, you know, just leave it there etc etc you know you're just starting opening stuff and just never end so your browser basically it's full of tabs even twice or three four times more than what you can see now so basically what you can do with this tab manager all right you can uh, uh, save the tabs inside here as you can see now there are 46 saved tabs and the other great thing is that you can just uh, set like a, a time, okay? Like in my, in my case, it's 10 minutes and after 10 minutes, all the inactive tabs, so the tab that I didn't touch for 10 minutes, will go inside here, you know, so will be saved here. So automatically, like, uh, I don't know, you're going, making a coffee, chilling out, then you return back and maybe you have just three or four tabs, you know, and not all of them open. And the other one are saved, so you can easily uh, remove them from from here, you know, super easily. And also the other thing is that you can set a limit, okay, like, like uh, 10 tabs are fine for me, you know, but more, just save, if you are 20, just save 10 save 10 and then leave 10 open now to to show you i'm going to set like a uh, one minute here and four tabs all right and then you can also set how many tabs to remember i said like 500 if it's more probably the computer will explode or something like that and by the way this is super useful for ram saving you know i'm opening right now here H top so here is the RAM you know now it's four but normally it also I also go up to 13 14 you know just I'm using all the RAM available you know and by the way by saving the tabs you're just gonna remove them from also from your RAM you know okay here it is and another thing you can save a a site a website so that it doesn't close in my case I save like uh, my YouTube uh, dashboard you know and also yeah you just saw the RAM went down from four to three okay and now there are just six uh, tabs there are six because this one is another one just gone you know let me just open something else here again to show you and by the way now I set on one minute you can just set to 20 minutes half an hour whatever you know 10 minutes as you wish anyway you can just let's say that you like DuckDuckGo to be open or maybe I don't know Wikipedia you know you're studying and you want everything to close except for any kind of Wikipedia or maybe just this page, you know, you don't want the Wikipedia Linux page to be closed. So you can just uh, double uh, right click and tab Wrangler and then select never close this tab or never close anything on Wikipedia, you know. Also here, there is another one. Let me just open something else here like uh, uh, Unix. So in a minute now we will see that something will close. As you can see, as you can see here, the tabs are shown here. You know, it's closing. 
a Wikipedia is still there you know now probably also this one is going to go yes but you can see Wikipedia is still there you know and also I saved as I said my I saved WordPress I saved word reference which is a dictionary you know I always use it I when I need it it's there you know so I don't want to open every time but anything else you can just let it close you know and here from here you can just reselect what to save what to reopen what to leave there you know for example this one Dr. Go search I just click it and there it is you know or I can just remove them like all this stuff you know I'm not gonna use What's this? Restore, select. You know, you can just select and restore, or I can just close, remove them. You know, and by the way, here you can select also to clear the close tabs on quit. You know, so clear everything when you quit the browser, or just close the browser, and then when you reopen it, there will be still your tabs here saved. And I, as I said, I have a limit of 500, so I'll have for a month. I'm I'm fine probably. <laughs> then I need to remove something. You know, this is super useful. I was using another extension because I didn't really uh, search for a good extension too much. Just the first one that they found. It's that they find. It's called. It was called uh, One Tab, but it was proprietary software, I think. And actually, this one I think is better, and it's also open source on GitHub. So I mean, it's even better than the other one. All right. So let me set here in ten minutes. Don't auto close ten, which is fine. And that's it. Saving everything as much as uh, as soon as you as you change, you know. So if you have like problem with tabs, with tabs, just install. This extension, try it out. I'll leave the link in the description, by the way, to this extension. And let me know if you wish. All right. That's it. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.